Okay, the first thing we're going to go over is how to use the pen tool. So um, if you remember correctly, we go to the pen tool, you can click it in the toolbar or hit P for pen. When you do that, make sure that it's under shape, not path, because path, remember, is useless, so you don't want that. Make sure it's shape. You want no fill for now, and you want some sort of outline. So I just choose red because it's quick and easy, but if you want to change it, it can be anything you want. Okay. Um, for the size, somewhere around two is pretty good, and then you want to make sure that the caps are circular and the corners are also curved. And then we can get started. So the first thing you're going to do <clears throat> is pick something um, that is that meets the criteria. I'm going to do this simple one here. Um, if you like bits and pieces of a design, maybe not the whole thing, don't be afraid to skip over sections and then keep on going so that you're not um, in, in making something your own. You can also make your own design. That's fine too. Um, and I'm going to show you some just tricks. So you're going to click the first time and let go. That will make an anchor point. From here, we're going to start um, going around the shape with the pen tool, um, and then I'll teach you those tricks as we go. So I'm going to click and hold and drag, and you can see the line up here that is um, the outline that we're going to be creating for the shape. So you want to line that up with the shape. I do that by dragging these little hands toward the outline of the original shape or the drawing that I'm trying to trace. I don't want to put my arms way up here or way down here because that's going to mess with what, if you remember, we call the Bezier curve. So this handle that we have, if I pull it up, then it becomes, if I pull it up, it goes down. And if I pull it down, it goes up. But if I keep it moving along the line of the shape, it makes a, a better copy of the line that makes up the shape to begin with. So I'm going to just click and drag. And when I'm kind of happy, I let go. And then I'm going to go just a little ways away and do it again. Click and drag. And sometimes you don't have to drag too far. Okay, sometimes you don't have to drag it out. Sometimes it matches perfectly. But I like to click and drag a little bit just to keep that curve moving um, smoothly. So click and drag, click and drag, and get those little hands and just keep going. Now, if you make a mistake, you can do, a, there's a few different ways um, to fix it. Control Z will undo it completely, make it disappear. Control only on the keyboard will allow you to click on it and click on that anchor point and move it. Holding the control also will help you if you want to move those arms around to align it up a little bit better. You can do that as well. Okay. And then if you let go of control, you can just keep on trucking. Now, some people I noticed were having trouble with the alt click, which was what we would do to get rid of this handle so that we could go in an opposite direction. If you're struggling with that, all right, get to close to the end of where you're going to do it. Click and hold and drag. And then right at the end, just click and don't hold and drag. Just click once. That makes an anchor point that has no handles. And that means it, it's, de it's determining that it will go whichever way you want. Those handles determine the direction. So without handles, you can go in any direction. So you're gonna click and hold and head back this way and drag. Okay, and you're gonna just keep doing that all the way around. Again, if you get to a point where you have to head in an opposite direction and you don't have the ability to hold Alt down and delete a handle like I just did there, Okay. If you don't have that ability, then you're going to click and hold and drag till you're close, and then just do one more dot that has no handles so that you can move forward. 
we can hold and drag all the way around. Remember, if it doesn't line up perfectly, it's okay because you and I are going to be the only one who sees that original design. So if you want to, you know, do a totally different look for something, end it, let's say we end it here, that's okay too. And you could head back this way and ignore that. All right, so don't be afraid to make it your own. Change it up a little bit. And then once you've got it all done, remember you have to return back to that original point. And then we need it to have no stroke or no outline and be filled with red. Okay, that is how to draw with a pen tool.